Hello, my name is Electro, and I'm going to be doing a new challenge where I attempt to win a ranked game on Viego using every single mythic in the game. Yes, that includes Moonstone. The exciting part about this challenge is that Viego can actually use about 70% of the mythics in the game, the decent effect. I will be trying to tailor my whole build path to work around my mythic item, and the hope is that I'll be able to find some fun and creative builds that actually work and give you guys my thoughts on them. Today's mythic is Heartsteel, which is surprisingly not a bad mythic at all on Viego. Heartsteel provides a ton of health, which on its own isn't anything special, but when comboed with the item's passive, it provides infinite scaling HP, as well as a decent amount of damage when you proc it. When paired with the right items, Heartsteel is actually a pretty decent mythic on Viego. Now, let's get into the game. Alright, getting into the game, so I'm starting topside red. A lot of you in the comment section last time gave me some great feedback saying you would like a little bit more explanation on what I'm doing in the game, a little bit more commentary, and less talking over myself in the game. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So thank you for the feedback. I hope this is better. So basically, I started topside this game because the idea is if you full clear on any champion, you're going to end your clear on the opposite side of what you, of where you start. So in this case, I wanted to start bot lane, but then there ended up being this this scuffle in the river oh. but luckily i was level four for it so i'm able to pick up this poppy kill just barely missed the pin on quinn which actually is pretty unlucky and i actually do get greedy and try to kill him anyway and die for it but whatever the idea is that you want to start on the opposite side of the jungle to where you want to path towards which is usually bot lane so i backed and went bot lane again which is pretty much just going to be the story of this game. I mean, pretty much every game that you can camp bot lane you want to. If there's ever a scenario where you have to camp top, it's usually against your will. Do a tricky little thing where I get on the edge of Ryze's ult here. I wasn't actually sure if it would work, but I'm glad that it did. And we just kind of beat on this Kaisa for a bit. That's what she gets for playing an ADC mid, honestly. Playing ADC, anything outside of the role it's intended for is pretty cringe. I think we can all agree. Trying to beat up Poppy a bit. She's tanky, Sona pulls up. I go for Sona, thinking it's gonna be a free kill. Turns out, was not a free kill. Did a little inting here, not particularly worth at all, but it is what it is. I decided to go Bork first this game because with Heart Steel, obviously you don't really get any damage. And it's pretty much just all tanky stats. So I figured Bork is probably the best one item I could go in order to actually have damage once, uh, once I start building Heart Steel which I'm very glad I made this decision. Now, this is extraordinarily tilting. You, If you're a Viego player, you've been here where you just barely don't kill him. He flashes away. Now you're stuck here with no abilities, nothing to do. And ah! the scream says it all. We've all been there. I had to leave the scream in. I apologize for headphones if it was too loud, but it is what it is. Like, how could I avoid it? You've all been there. All right, so I ended up backing. Uh, or not backing, I died. I respawned, saw her raptors were up, so I figured I'd camp them, think I could kill her. Obviously, she was a bit more tanky than I thought and had an entire armada pulling up to help her. But I wrap around. Rise is in a good position. This rise was a freak of nature, a beast. I don't get the possession, which is cringe. All right, going for Poppy. Poppy gets a little greedy, tries to pin me against the wall, get Poppy's possession. Ezreal gets greedy, dashes in for me, pin him against the wall. Amazing. And then I let out a little death rattle here in a second. Three, two, one. God damn! It is a fair goddamn, what can I say? We back. We don't have enough to get our heart steel components, but we do have a lot of tankiness now. Uh, pretty much 800 health from the components, I am, I'm fairly confident. I'm not doing a ton of damage here, but I am very tanky. I was just in the middle of four of them and basically survived the whole way, which is sick. I'm pretty much just getting carried by Bork right now, though. Heart Steel just really takes a long time to come online. But here we go. I back to buy it so that I can start stacking this thing. And yeah, I'm pretty much just trying to fish for fish for kills at this point or for stacks for the Heart Steel. There, I get one, I back out. Poppy makes a dumb decision and decides that she has no object permanence and just walks in. I we kill her, which is wonderful. And then, uh, try to ignore this. My hubris gets the better of me. I just dash in for absolutely no reason. Go in on Kaisa, do zero damage. I'm a bit shocked. I honestly think I healed her. I don't really know what was going on. But that proves to be a problem with Heart Steel that I'll talk about later is the lack of damage. I mean, I have some damage, but realistically, it's very little, and it takes a long time to proc hard steel, so even if you get, like, an opening on someone, 
It is not like a shin proc by any means. Oh God, this is so unlucky. Just barely don't kill her. Poppy knocks me away and miss out on the kill. Now, before I get into this next part of the video, I had a conversation with my chat that I feel like it is necessary for the sanctity of man that you guys hear what I have to say. I do apologize if you are not the same person you were 30 seconds before hearing it, but here we go. You know how like a lot of um, a lot of people will go to like a psychic to like read their palm and see how many kids they're gonna have? I don't know why people do that, like men do that. They should just go get their scrotum read because that is a way better indicator. It's like a f fingerprint, but on your scrotum, exactly right. Okay, now let's just pretend I didn't say any of that. Sorry that you had to hear it. Now I got Titanic Hydra. I go for a kill on Quinn thinking all of a sudden I've got Titanic Hydra so I have damage. Turns out I don't have damage and I get frustrated. Try to kill Sona literally in the same position I was in before. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, even though it's shame on me both times. That's okay, we get the Baron. Go for the final fight. Hopefully I can actually do some damage with this build. And I end up getting the dash on Ezreal, Flash. Not doing a ton of damage, but I'm extremely tanky. He can't really get me off him as long as I have flash. Miss everything, but that's okay. I also have enough damage for Quinn too. So the damage is there. It's just, it's really, it's really low compared to the normal builds. However, we do end up securing the victory. I would say that it was actually a pretty productive build and I liked it a lot. But let's talk more about it now. All right, now let's talk about Heartsteel. Heartsteel was an item that I was excited to try because I figured, you know, it would actually be pretty good on Viego. Heartsteel's passive kind of acts as a pseudo sheen proc as well as just provides you a ton of health. So if you build a little bit more bruisery, more hybrid with Bork, you should be able to have enough damage in order to kill the opponents that you want to go on. Unfortunately, from my experience, I must say that Heartsteel was a bit worse than I thought it would be. It's still a decent mythic. And honestly, if you're looking to just get super tanky on Viego for whatever reason, if that's like your kink to just be like a gigantic bruiser that beats some people, then feel free to build it. However, it is probably not something that I can genuinely recommend you build. And as you guys saw in the video, I'm sure you can notice that there were a lot of instances where I pretty much did no damage on Viego. And I was pretty strong. Like, it's not like I was behind. My farm was up. I had good damage. So imagine if I was behind and was a little bit weaker and was still going hard steel. Blade of the Rune King pretty much carried this entire game, carried this entire video. Because Blade of the Rune King, as you guys know, is the best one item power spike in terms of just pure damage on Viego. So you pair that with hard steel, which has virtually no damage. Bork is able to carry a little bit, but really not as hard as I needed it to. In my opinion, I thought when I got Titanic Hydra, I was going to do a lot more damage because I had all that stacking HP plus Titanic. But even with Titanic, I really didn't feel like I could do a lot of damage. So that's my honest opinion on Heart Steel. I'm sure you guys kind of gathered some of that information from just watching the game. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this format. I know a lot of you guys said that you were enjoying it. And I tried to improve the format a little bit in this video. So let me know how I did. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to continue doing this challenge until every single mythic has been completed, which means that if you guys want updates on the next video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, have a good day. See you next time.